everyone, welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Today we'll be doing arc sine of 2, or sine x equals 2. So, you might be thinking, well, that's not possible, because the function sine goes from the reals to the reals, but the range is only the square... Uh, is only negative 1 to 1, the closed interval between negative 1 and 1. So how is it possible to get sine of x equal to 2? Well, this is true for the real numbers. <laughs> but for the complex numbers, things get a little bit more spicy. So, I'll just... So e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. So e to the negative i theta equals cosine of theta because cosine of negative theta and cosine of theta are equal. And then minus i sine theta because sine of negative theta equals negative sine of theta. So get the sine on its own, we have to subtract them from each other, e to the i theta minus e to the negative i theta equals 2i sine theta, so dividing both sides by 2i leaves us with this, so let's plug it in. e to the i x minus e to the negative i x all over 2i equals 2. Multiplying both sides multiply, multiplying both sides by 2i leaves us with e to the i x minus e to the negative i x equals 4i. And now multiplying both sides by e to the i x leaves us with e to the i x squared minus well, e to the negative i x times e to the i x equals e to the i x minus i x, which equals e to the power of zero, which equals one. So, minus one equals four i times e to the i x. Moving everything onto this side leaves us with e to the i x squared equal. Uh, minus 4i times e to the i x minus 1 equals 0. Plug it, use the quadratic formula. e to the i x equals negative, because this is a quadratic in terms of e to the i x, negative negative 4i plus minus the square root of negative 4i squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 that might not be legible now but it I was, I was just that's basically 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1 which equals well these two negatives will cancel 4i plus minus the square root of negative 4i yeah, squared equals negative 4 times negative 4, and then times i times i, which is negative 4 squared, which is 16, times i squared, which is negative 1, so actually it's just negative 16, equals negative 16 minus 4 times 1 is just and then that times negative 1 is negative 4 so actually it's plus because minus minus is plus 4 all over 2 that becomes negative 12 which equals 4i plus minus i times the square root of 12 all over 2 
because the square root of a negative is just i times the square root of that positive. And then square root of 12 equals square root of 4 times square root of 3, which equals 2 times the square root of 3. So this equals 4i plus minus i plus minus 2i square root 3 all over 2. Now we can do a lot of cancellations. Boom, that becomes a 2, that becomes a 1. So 2i plus minus i square root 3, which is what e to the ix equals. Now, factor out an i, i times 2 plus minus the square root of 3. And now we can take the natural log on both sides. ix equals, well this is just a product of two different things, so we can use a natural log property. This is ln of i. Um, plus the not square ln of the of two plus minus the square root of three. So now we just have to solve ln of i, and this is why this technically has an infinite amount of solutions. I've done ln of i in another video, but I'll just do it again here. So if we have a number on the imaginary on the complex plane, sorry. Imaginary axis, real axis. Uh, and we have some point R. I mean, we have some point A. This distance from the origin is called R. And this angle here is called theta. Then A equals R times cosine theta plus I plus R times I sine theta. Okay, factoring out the r leaves us with r times cosine theta plus i sine theta, which is just e to the i theta. So actually this equals r times e to the i theta. Yeah, okay. So i if we draw this a bit bigger now. I is here, roughly, I. The distance from the origin is just one. And this angle here is just a right angle, so it's pi over two. Okay, so I actually equals one times e to the i pi over 2. So the natural log of i equals, ah, sorry, in fact, it's perfectly reasonable to go around a whole 2 pi radians, and another whole 2 pi radians, and another whole 2 pi radians, and so on, so on, so on. So actually, i equals this but also to the power of i pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Okay, so this just means that we can go around in a 360 degree or 2 pi radians and we'll still get i. Which is why this has an infinite number of solutions, because we can pick any n. But for now we'll just take the principal value, which is just e to i pi over 2. So the natural log of i equals the natural log of 1 plus the natural log of e to the i pi over 2. Well, that's just 0 plus that and that cancel i pi over 2. So ln of i which equals i pi over 2 plus ln of 2 plus minus 
square root of 3. And then x equals i pi over 2 plus ln of 2 plus minus the square root of 3 all over i. Okay, and now we're not quite done because we can simplify this a little bit more. Okay, so this equals that i and that i will cancel. So this equals pi over 2 plus ln n of 2 plus minus the square root of 3 and then divided by i. And now that is the principal value solution to arcsine of 2. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one, goodbye.